بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك لعل الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء نحوا سنقرئك فلا تنسى الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم أجمعين لقيام يوم الدين إن شاء الله this is going to be lesson 3 and we are going to discuss a few uh, important uh, issues on intentions and basically what I want is that after I'm done with if you have any questions please uh, forward this question because Last night there was a confusion. They said that I said that uh, we can make a general intention. And Sayyidi Sistani says that the time of the intention is before Fajr. Now remember this. What is the intention? The intention is whatever you have in your mindset. What are you planning to do? You're planning to fast the holy month of Ramadan. What will be the time of intention? Fajr till sunset. So there's always intention for a nice moment genuine person we say like a muhtaram you see so a genuine person has always the intention is always there the intentions in, intention is embedded in all of us we all know that the holy month of uh, fasting fasting of the holy month of ramadan is wajib so it is already there inside our system so 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 what say the sistan in some places he says that if somebody did not have an intention, somebody uh, one must make an intention before, before the dawn. That means he did not have intention previously. And if you recall, I had mentioned this previously. An example: who is who is the one who does not have intention? Who's this mokmin guy who does not have intention of fasting? I can give you two three examples. Example number one: you're planning to fast tomorrow morning, okay? You had your intention to fast tomorrow morning. I mean, travel tomorrow morning, sorry, travel. So you are not planning to fast. So there is no intention. So that intention, lump sum intention, if you, if you had in your heart of fasting the holy month of Ramadan, do not exist, does not exist tonight. Why? Because tonight you have decided that tomorrow you are going to travel. So now, you don't have an intention for tomorrow. So now, before Salat al-Fajr, before Salat al you decided not to travel. That means automatically you are going to intend that you are going to stay here. That is what, when you, have, when you don't have an intention and you want to make an intention, that is where you need to do it from dawn, you see? And in some cases, until Vohor. But after Vohor, no. So, so this is what he means that be the, the, the time of intention is before dawn. Uh, so you can, if you are traveling, uh, one more example. Somebody embraced Islam tonight. So now he doesn't have any intention of fasting. So we tell him fasting is uh, obligatory and this and that. And, and so before dawn, he needs to make his intention. Okay, that he's going to fast this month. Inside his heart, he's going to fast. So that's where you, you find there's no intention. Somebody was sick. I can go in, in the list of example for, to, to let you know how a person does not have an intention of holy month of Ramadan and he's a Muslim. Every Muslim, a committed Muslim, must have intention inside himself. I told you, we have intention for now if Allah gives, uh, keeps us alive and protected from this virus. We have intention as long as we live. Inshallah, we're going to fast the holy month of Ramadan. I made my intention, my entire lifetime membership, lifetime intention, okay? So I don't need to every, every year make an intention. It's mustahab to renew. So that is the intention. The intention is already there. We committed Muslims. We have the intention always. That we, we love to fast. We want to fast. So it is in our system. The when is the intention not there? If a person was sick, Tomorrow, he doesn't know that he will be well or not, so he did not make intention of fasting. He said, I'm, I'm not going to fast. See, when he says, I'm not going to fast, he doesn't have intention. Before Fajr, somehow he did some spiritual activities and wow, mashallah, he got cured. So now, 
he decided so he has to make intention now that means his heart needs to be prepared to get into the state of fasting that is what intention this was a something which was uh, not understood last night so now today we are going to take rule number uh, lesson three rule number 976 <clears throat> So I'm going to read the Arabic text. You follow the English one because I like to uh, do the instant thing. So, Okay, now fast, obligatory fasts are two types. One is specific time and one is unspecific time. What is specific time? Specific time fast is like the holy month of Ramadan. If the time is prescribed, fasting of the holy month of Ramadan. You cannot fast the holy month of Ramadan out of the holy month of Ramadan with the intention of Ada. Qadha, yes, because you missed. So this is the, the specified time fasting, like limited fasting. You cannot fast the Ada of holy month of Ramadan uh, with the intention of Ada, like doing it now, not Qadha, outside. Another example would be Nadar, the, the manta or the oath or the vow. If God, for example, I pass the exam, I will fast one day. Okay, now this is, you passed the exam, but you said I fast one day, any day. So this is unspecific time. But let's say you said 15 Sha'ban, I'm going to fast, for example, the, uh, if I pass. So now you have specified the time. So that becomes specified time fast because you limited it, your nether was limited into a specific time. So in this case, the, the, the here we have two types of fast. Specific time, non-specific time. Specific time, the time of intention is specific as well. Non-specific, it has a flexible intention time. So let's see. Waqtu fil wajib al The time of intention. The time of intention in the obligatory fast. The time of intention in the obligatory fast. What is the time of intention in obligatory fast? It is from the Fajr. He says, Al Wajib al Mu'ayyan, Walaw bil Arad. So, Wajib al Mu'ayyan, initial, only month of Ramadan. Arad, accidental. So, initially, that fasting of 15 Sha'ban is not an obligation, but it becomes obligation uh, by accidental, accidental cause. So, it is from the uh, true dawn, Tulu al Fajr. True dawn. Now you know, like people living in Scandinavia and northern parts of the hemisphere, in the summer they don't have true dawn, so they have to look at the the brightness. Whenever the brightness reaches the minimum, uh, from there, when the uh, and and the, uh, like the darkness, the the darkness starts, starts, starts. It's not dark pitch many places, but it's a bit darkness. And then from that point, it starts to rise the, again, the whiteness. So the moment the, the whiteness starts to rise, that is your Fajr. That is your time of Salat al-Fajr. That is your time to hold your fast. So that is why in summer, this is the case in Scandinavian country. This is the way you have to look in the sky. Ayatollah Sistani says, look into the sky. It, it's not the midnight. It's, 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 you have to see how the brightness starts to rise again. That is the Orfajr in the summer in Scandinavian countries. Or in the countries where they don't have, so the sun does not go below 16 degrees um, uh, of or below the earth, below the horizon. So Fajr is Sadr. So that is the time where you need to have the intention. Intention needs to be done. Just now you said that, whole, you just can say it from now for the coming years that I'm going to uh, fast the uh, holy month of Ramadan for coming years. So why the Ayatollah Sistani here is saying that the time of intention. Remember I said, the time for those people who do not have the intention. That is, they were planning to travel. That is, they were sick, they were planning not to fast. That is, they had this, they had that. So they had certain excuse that they did. They were not planning to fast. So they did not have intention. And their excuse changed. So he said that that point, the, the Fajr time is your Imsat time. So why these people, they say 15 minutes before hold your fast and 20 minutes before hold your fast? Two reasons. In general countries, you don't have to abstain fast. The, the Wajib Imsat is like few minutes, maybe one minute, two minutes. 
before that time because nobody knows nobody has this this atomic clocks or electronic nuclear and uh, i don't know what kind of they're like very precise most of our uh, clocks and watches have fractions of error so that means just give precaution like two three uh, uh, like to the one minute uh, 15 second 20 second one two one two minutes just abstain before that fragile time and then that is your insult, uh, which is like a, a, a based on an obligatory proportion because we don't know exactly when the time is. This is when the situation is regular. People living in Scandinavian countries, they have a problem, this rise of the dark. Uh, the, the, so now, according to my experience and the, the ones who checked the fajr with me, we were trying our best. So you see the darkness and you're just, you just keep, keep looking at the sky and suddenly you see that whiteness so where did this happen so it's a very micro micro movement micro you don't feel that the 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 brightness is starting the brightness is starting so we kept a gap of 15 to 20 minutes when we saw the darkness and oops suddenly after 10 minutes we see the brightness so we keep like 15 to 20 25 minutes as an obligatory because in this range the brightness starts since it's a micro micro brightness and it starts slowly we our eyes get deceived so that's why that in summer in scandinavia that imsak is obligatory imsak because the the fajr starts somewhere before when you see the brightness obvious so that is a, that is that is that's precaution but in regular countries normal countries when they have normal fajr so they 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 need they it is recommended proportion if this they hold on 15 minutes or 20 minutes but obligatory proportion is just a few minutes or a few seconds like properly before the the fast because ayatollah sistani as we are, we are going to say that if you doubt that the fajr has risen or not you can consider it still night and you can eat and drink until you are sure but these are precautionary measures we do uh, we we stop before the before the fasting starts okay so we said this uh, so regular cases normal cases for wajib muayyan specific wajib accidental or initial like nether wow uh, on a specific day or holy month of ramadan the time is if you're not planning to fast, then you make your intention before Fajr, if you decide it. That means in that time, Imsaq needs to be accomplished. Imsaq needs, abstinence needs to be done. Okay? And that means the intention, it needs to, the abstinent needs to be associated with the intention. Even if it, the intention was embedded, you don't have to say it. It's inside your heart that once this fajr rises, I'm done. I can't com commit any of perform any of the invalidators. Okay. So therefore, uh, here the the examples as I mentioned that those people who did not have any intention to fast, they really need if they 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 have changed their plan, they really need to make sure that that thing is inside their heart that yes they are going to fast. Okay, tomorrow it needs to be at least maximum when it it starts to uh, it starts to uh, the fajr starts at the time of fajr. Okay, so makronan bil azm bil azm walau irtikazan even if it's embedded. La bima'na anna laha waqtan muhaddadan sharan. It does that does not mean that the intention has a specific religious time. Okay, it's not like you have to make this time you have to make that time no any time you can make intention but the maximum is for the obligatory specified obligatory initially or accidental it is the time where the the fajr is sadiq is known so that is the time it's maximum it's not that you have to make the intention that time he mentions there's no specific time for intention it's not that that time is a specific time for intention. No, is um, this intention is open ended. So it does not mean that the intention has a specific religious time. So it is a very flexible time. It is it not, but but the, the 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 end time is this is your limit. You have to be done before that. Okay, let's move on to next slide. 
Amma, this was that was one what a specific wajib. Now we come to the non-specific wajib. That means like kafara, qada, qada. You can fast anytime unless if your time becomes close to the time of holy month of Ramadan. Let's say you had like five days last year, so you can fast anytime. So it's unspecified time. But when it comes, it, when it narrows down to a five last days of Shaban, then you have to fast those days. Why? Because you, you need to make up your fast before the next year's holy month of Ramadan. You need to make up the, your dues of the past year. He says, وَمَّا فِي الْوَاجِبِ غَيْرِ الْمُعَيِّنِ And as for the obliga obligatory fast, which is not specified with time specified, day specified. فَيَمْتَدُّ وَقْتُهَا إِلَى مَا, ما قَبْلَ الزَّوَالِ So the time, uh, like qada fast, the time is until before Dhuhr time. Okay, before Salat of Dhuhr time. So before Dhuhr time, uh, noon time, uh, is uh, the time. So, so you, if you have decided not to fast until Dhuhr, that's fine. Before Dhuhr, like Dhuhr is the point, like you are sick or you are traveling or you are this and you are that. So before Dhuhr, you need to make sure that you are going to fast this day or not. This is for non-holy month of Ramadan and non nadar mu'ayyan, non-specified time. وَإِن تَضَيَّقَ وَقْتُهُ Even if the, there's two, three minutes left, and the Mu'addin is going to say, Allahu Akbar. Before he says Allahu Akbar, I mean, not Mu'addin, the time. Because maybe the Mu'addin is late, not on, on time. So if the, if, if the, if the Mu'addin, for example, says, okay, uh, if the time happens, and the Mu'addin, uh, before that time, he says, Ya Allah, I'm going to fast the, uh, this uh, qada in, in your heart. This day is going to be my qadas. You did not have breakfast. You did not have anything. So just half a day is gone. Just complete the half other half of a day and fast it, qada, finish it or finish your uh, dues. So, uh, so here we have فَإِذَا فَلَهُ تَأْخِيرُهَا وَإِن تَضَيَّقَ وَخْدَ Even if the time is short, فَلَهُ تَأْخِيرُهَا إِلَيْهِ You have an option, you can delay the time for qada fasting until qada or any other fast uh, which is not time specified, obligatory even by your choice, by your option, okay? So, فَلَهُ uh, تَأْخِيرُهَا Because a person can delay his intention to that narrow time purposely, uh, uh, with choice, voluntarily. فَإِذَا أَصْبَحَ نَاوِيًا لِلْإِفْطَارِ If he woke up deciding to uh, uh, not to fast, iftar means no fasting, without any intention. وَبَدَأَ لَهُ قَبْلَ الزَّوَالِ it appeared to him that, ah, let me fast. And he assumed a wajib and obligatory fast. For now, a psalm. Then he made the intention of fasting. It will be sufficient for him. If it was after the midday, ah, here we'll say, stop. On, you are past. Because you had the time until Dhuhr. Now you cannot make the intention on the basis of obligatory precaution. So this is what, so we have three types of fast. Specific time fast, obligatory, and non-specific time, uh, obligatory, and recommended fast. Specific time, Fajr, before Fajr make your intention. Non-specific obligatory, before Dhuhr. Recommended fast, before Maghrib. Like before your the, the maghrib time, you can uh, you can make your intention. Ya Allah, since you did not eat anything, drink anything, did not do any of the invalidators, so just make your intention and fast. Let's get the thawab. Okay, why to miss the thawab? <laughs> it's a free thawab. You did not eat, you did not drink, you did not do any of the invalidators. So that's why he says, "Wama fil And as for the recommended fasting, the intention of recommended fasting. So the time extends until there is this much time left, very small minimum time left from the zawal. This much, enough time, few seconds in a way, you did not have intention because you did not plan to fast. Now you want to fast. So, 
uh, I'm fast forward later. <laughs> like, how many seconds did I take? So, like, as minimum as time you you need, you can just make your make your intention. So, what before Maghrib is going to say in Allah Malaika Adhan al Maghrib. So now, before that Adhan al Maghrib, you can just make your intention and just uh, say, Ya Allah, I'm fasting this Qurbat Allah Taala to achieve your nearness. So now we go to the next slide. This is where the misconception was uh, that uh, how can we uh, we make an intention before one month and uh, and Al Sistani says that before Fajr before Fajr for those people who did not have intention for those who were planning Shahri Ramadan kullihi biniyatin wahida qabla shah one intention before the month package enough. فلا يعتبر حدوث العزم على الصوم في كل ليلة أو عند عند طلوع الفجر. It is not required to renew the intention to fast every night or uh, on the time of dawn uh, of every day من كل يوم. وين كان يعتبر وجوده عند عند وين كان يعتبر وجوده عنده. Even though it is recommended precaution to do it, but it is not wajib to bring that intention every day and every night. To bring to present yourself that you are going to fast inside your heart, okay, for to, to in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa yakfi fi ghayri shahr Ramadan aivan, and even the similar, similarly, lamsam niyat is enough. Because why we mentioned that in meaning of the intention is to prepare yourself that you are going to fast. The preparation of fast is the intention. Your awareness about holy month of Ramadan, your awareness about fa fast is wajib. And you do it for Allah. Enough. That's that's very basic intention. We mentioned this. So uh, even non-holy month of Ramadan, you are planning to do uh, fast of penalty, Sawmul Kafara. So even Sawmul Kafara penalty, the same thing. You fa Ya Allah, this month I'm going to fast the penalty, uh, Kafara. That's fine. You are good. You don't need to every day renew. Wa yakfi hada fi ghairi shahr Ramadan aydan. The fasting of the kafara, and to similarly any any fast, any fast you don't you don't need to like which has a bulky day ten days three days two days four days you just mention the whole thing in your heart present it and that is it. Now let's say if a person did not make the intention to fast unintentionally, he was sick. Okay, we said sick. Planning uh, to travel, planning not not planning to fast. All these they don't have intention. These categories. So this person did not have this desire to fast because he was sick or he was planning to travel. So إِذَا لَمْ يَنْوِسَوْمَ فِي شَهْرِ رَمَضَانٍ he did not make the intention. That means his intention was not to fast on the holy month of Ramadan. That means his intention was not to fast the holy month of Ramadan because of sickness because of pregnancy, because of nursing of the child, because of so many various reasons where you are exempt for fasting. So he was not planning. So, and then uh, Ramadan, لِنِسْيَانِ hukum, Or maybe, no, he did not, he had forgotten the ruling that he had to present himself uh, to fast the holy month of Ramadan. So he forgot uh, the hukum. Or he forgot that... He was like uh, living in his life. I don't know in which country there's no, no Muslims. So he did not know that holy month of Ramadan is entered and three, four days have been passed. So he was like ignorant about the, the, the situation. Mawdu means the, the subject of it. That the, that the, like, what are the subject? The subject means conditions. Conditions like fasting is wajib on every, every Muslim as a legislation, as a potential. However, activation requires, uh, it's not activated on. So a, a Muslim, a child is a Muslim. But is fast obligatory on a child? No, it has not been activated on him. It is still on a legislative point. Um, is uh, a fast wajib on a, uh, on a traveling person? No, it is, it is not. Once he comes back, yes, it will be activated. Is fasting wajib uh, uh, before the proving of the holy month of Ramadan? Fasting of the holy month of Ramadan? No. Once the moon is sighted, then, or we complete 30 days. So there are these conditions, we call them mawdu' al-hukm al-shara'i. 
موضوع. So he had forgotten the ruling of that I have to fast in the holy month of Ramadan. He was a never new newcomer to Islam, or he did not know the موضوع. He knows that there is fasting in the month and the holy month, but he does not know that the holy month has presented, or he does not that he has become balik, or he does not know that he has uh, he has come into the city and is not a travel not a traveling person. He did not know. That the, the the conditions of the fasting, so either he forgot or he was not aware of. Walam yastamil muftaran, and he had not taken any of the invalidators. Thumma tadakkara, he was the forgotten person. He remembered, or the ignorant person. He realized, became aware during the day of the holy month of Ramadan. Okay. He saw people are fasting, people are not eating. What's going on there? Are we invaded by the UFOs or what? What is happening? Why people are not eating or something like that? The thing is, that, oh my goodness, it is the holy month of Ramadan. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. So he'll say, okay, don't panic, don't panic. It's not COVID-19, okay? <laughs> we can sort it out. So we'll tell you now, if it is before Zohar, okay. Renew your intention because you're ignorant or you were uh you forgot before zuhur just renew the intention so he says alima athna an nahar during the day if he found out yastazi bi tajdid an niyya qabla az zawal before zuhur in the holy month of ramadan before zuhur in the holy month of ramadan just renew your intention nothing nothing bad happened don't panic but what after zuhur oh slow down wa yushkal al ijtiza bihi ba'dahu After Zohar, if you make intention to complete, Ayatollah Sistani says, on the basis of ab- obligatory precaution, I-, I have problem. I have problem. So what should we do? You complete, Ayatollah Sistani says, and do a qadha. And if you don't want to complete or do a qadha, refer to some other marja who allows you to ign- ignore this precaution or precautionary measure. And either you f- complete your fast, either you do qadha. But Ayatollah Sistani says, do both. Complete and do qadha. Because maybe in the ilm of Allah, your fast is okay. And or no, do qadha. Maybe in the ilm of Allah, your fast is not okay, so qadha is required. Maybe some marja says, choose one of them. So you can refer to them. Or you stick to the ihtiyat, complete, and do one day qadha. Okay. So that was the intention. That was... Uh, somebody had not planned to fast due to the ignorance, due to the forgetfulness, unawareness. Before the war, make, uh, make your intention. And that is if you had not eaten biryani and pacha and gamer and, and bajilla ala dhan or whatsoever you guys eat in the breakfast. Okay? So, but before the war, if you have not taken any invalidators, just make your intention. It's your first day of the, it's your day of the holy month of Ramadan. After the war, Ayatollah Sistani said, ehtiyate wajib, do both. complete the day and uh, do makeup what about some shak the 30th shaaban many people they fast 30th shaaban with the intention of obligatory you cannot fast 30th shaaban which is the doubtful day so ida sama yawm shak if a person doubt so so let's let me just sum up this ruling because it's an easy ruling 30th shaaban there is a probability it might become holy month of ramadan we don't know we don't know we did not get moon sightings some maybe some other countries they send us moon sighting uh, next day we find out oops this is the holy month of ramadan today the moon was sighted last night so now what sh- what can a person do so it can be holy month of ramadan's day 30 shaaban and it can be tw- uh, it can be uh, uh, first ramadan and it can be 29 uh, 30 shaaban one of the two probabilities Okay, so what should a person do here? <clears throat> don't fast with the intention of holy month of Ramadan. Don't be super mu'min. No, 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 no. There's a doubt that this could be holy month of Ramadan. I'm going to fast. I'm going to fast the holy month. Of... Then kiss your fast goodbye. You cannot fast once. Remember the legislation and activation. The fasting has not been activated. The moon has not yet been sighted. So it's still a legislation. So you fast, it's waste. So you lose, you lose 30 Shaaban recommended fast. You lose the holy month of Ramadan. So you'll have to do Qadha because it was not obligated and you fasted this, this day. So what should I do? 
If you have qada, do qada because you cannot fast recommended fasting. If you have kafara, you do kafara. If you have um, vow, you make it vow. Whatever. And if you don't have anything, just make it qurbatan lillahi ta'ala. I am doing this to achieve the nearness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what happens? I fasted 30 Shaban, or I fasted Qada, or I fasted Kafara, or I fasted Vow, or I fasted uh, Shaban. After two days, we were told the holy month of Ramadan was the moon was sighted and it was the first day. So what will you do? We will do Qada? No. Remember, we mentioned pre in previously the, the sentence which my teacher used to repeat uh, repeatedly. لا يقع في شهر رمضان صوم غيره. In the holy month, the only fast of the holy month is, 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 is valid. So that means no matter what intention you made, it is going to be considered the fast of the holy month of Ramadan. That means automatically it will change. Your 30th Shaban fast will become first day of holy month of Ramadan. Or your Qadha fast will become the first day of holy month of Ramadan. Or your Kafara will become the first day of holy month of Ramadan. Or so it's sort of it. So what happened to what will happen to my qadha? I was going to uh, uh, finish my my previous debt. Uh, that qadha, kiss the qadha goodbye because now you have the first day of holy month of Ramadan there. So that means you your qadha is still on your shoulder. So in, after the holy month of Ramadan, make sure to do your qadha. You see. So so la yaqafi shari Ramadan so mughayra. So anything you do. You just now some uh, any type of intention. Don't make the intention of holy month of Ramadan. And some maraja they said don't make the intention of hesitation. Like say the khoi, say this is not says it's okay. Do intention of hesitation. Whatever you do, don't just mention holy month of Ramadan unless it's proven. So whatever fast you will fast with whatever intention, if it is proven to be the holy month it will be considered the first day of the holy month. You like it, you don't like it. لا يقع في شهر رمضان صوم غير Inside the holy month of Ramadan, the only fast of holy month of Ramadan is valid. So let's see what Sayyidi Sistani says. إذا صام يوم الشك بنية شعبان ندبا So on the day of doubt, which is 30 شعبان, he fasted with the intention of recommendation. أو قضاء with the intention of make up. Aw nadran, intention of vow. He had one fast vow. He had done, Ya Allah, if you pass me, I will fast this day, any day. So now you want to fast this day as another. Ajza'an Ramadan, shahri Ramadan in kana. If it happened to be holy month of Ramadan day, it was proven, it will be sufficient. Why? La yaqa'u fi shahri Ramadan saw mughayrah. In the holy month of Ramadan, only the fast of holy month of Ramadan is valid. So this is number one. وَإِذَا تَبَيَّنَ أَنَّهُ مِنْ شَهْرِ رَمَضَانِ قَبْلَ الزَّوَالِ أَوْ بَعْدَهُ Let's say before Zuhur he found out. Or let's say after Zuhur he found out. Doesn't matter. Just switch your intention. to شَهْرِ Ramadan. Ya Allah, this is... You had, you had made the achievements, uh, achieving the nearness of Allah. You had planned to... Uh, achieve the nearness of Allah because you all the fasts they have the goal. So just title change. Ya Allah, this is only month of Ramadan. Enough. Not not to panic. There are people they get panic. They, uh, so uh, not panic attack. I don't. I haven't seen somebody has panic uh, panic attack. Oh, we we fasted thirty Shaban. What should we do? Oh, no problem. It automatically changes. You see, In, inside your heart now. What do you? What is today? It's first Ramadan. Khalas. That means you made your intention automatically that your fast has become the fast of first Ramadan, holy month of Ramadan. So, Qabla Zawal. Why say this is He says, uh, whether it was before Zuhur, after Zuhur, doesn't, doesn't matter. Because some of the Maraja, they say, if you realize before Zuhur it was you are in the Ram holy month of Ramadan, you are fasting other than holy month of Ramadan, you change your name. After Zuhur, some Maraja, they say, you complete and do Qadha. Say the Sistani says, no, even after Dhuhr, it's okay. Just, just uh, switch the intention automatically, you are in the holy month of Ramadan. وَإِنْ صَامَهُ بِنِيَّةِ رَمَضَانِ Batal. Batal means <laughs> brave, <laughs> hero. The, no, this is batal, it's a verb. وَإِنْ صَامَهُ بِنِيَّةِ رَمَضَانِ 
if the holy month of Ramadan is not proven, if you fast with the intention of the holy month of Ramadan, then obviously it's going to be invalid. Batal means batil. And in Arabic, batal, batal means, <laughs> batalun means a hero or a, <clears throat> or a brave person. But uh, here is batala, but when we stop, we just say sukun. Okay. One more mas'ala to go and we'll be done, inshallah. So, so these are different. This is this is easy masala for Ayatollah Sistani. Just don't make don't, don't make intention of the holy month of Ramadan. Make whatever intention which is valid intention. Let's say you make this intention. Ya Allah, whatever is on my shoulder, I am fasting today. In your knowledge, in reality. If it was wajib, then it's going to be wajib. If it is mustahab, then it's going to be mustahab. So, Ya Allah, I am making intention of whatever I am required of. So, this is not a hesitation. You have one fixed intention. You are saying, whatever I am required of. Hesitation is like, Ya Allah, if it is proven to be holy month of Ramadan, then it's my first. If it is not proven to be holy month of Ramadan, then it's 30th Sha'ban. That to many maraja is not acceptable. But Sayyidi Sistani, uh, it's okay. So this, the, 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 between this bullet and this bullet, the first bullet says, one niyat, amrul waq al mutawajjili, the command, the real command, which is on my shoulder, which you are aware of, Ya Allah. So in that case, the, 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 fasting, will, uh, the fasting will be correct. The fast will be correct. Why? Because... You have made one intention. Some maraja, there are problems in the second bullet where you hesitate. And he fasts with the intention that if it was from Sha'ban, it would be mustahab. If it was from Sha'ban, the day was Sha'ban, and my fast would be mustahab. And if the day was in the holy, of holy month of Ramadan, my fast will be wajib. Many maraja, they don't like this intention of hesitation. Okay? But say this, Sistani says, and this fast also will be correct. So even hesitation in the intention uh, is correct. Now, the last bullet in this mas'ala, وَإِذَا أَصْبَحَ فِيهِ نَاوِيًا iftar. The first day of Holy Month of Ramadan, you woke up, okay, and you were, you were planning not to fast without the intention of fast. We said, due to the reasons, sickness, you were sick, you felt you were sick, so you did not make intention before Fajr. You uh, thought that uh, you were going to travel, but you did not travel. Any of the excuses, circumstances were going to encounter you did not happen. So now you need to do the niyyah. asbaha, you woke up in the morning. iftar, planning to do the iftar, whether intentionally, like or or due, due to the excuse. فَتَبَيَّنَ أَنَّهُ مِنْ شَهْرِ رَمَضَانِ He was told today, you know, it's holy month of Ramadan. Oh, really? So then what will happen here? If he was, he realized that it was the holy month of Ramadan, then جَرَى عَلَيْهِ التَّفْصِيلِ الْمُتَقَدِّمِ فِي الْمَسْأَلَةِ السَّابِقَةِ The previous mas'ala, what was in the previous mas'ala? We said that if before dhuhr, make the intention. That's it. After dhuhr, complete and do qada on the basis of obligatory precaution that is according to uh, say this is that now we have this uh, uh, ruling of continuation of the intention we had pointed out this ruling that you cannot break the intention you cannot hesitate in the intention the intention needs to be flow you cannot say i'm going to eat deliberately not forgetful out of forgetfulness you said even if the fridge is empty enjoy it but no out of, out of int intentionally, you said, no, I'm going to drink this. And then so, ah, let me continue fasting. Finish, kiss your fast goodbye. Why? Because it, we said the fasting is intentional based. You break intention, you break your fast. That's all in the fasting. The foundation of fasting is intention. So he says, it is obligatory to continue the intention until the end of the day. Okay? Until the end of the day. So if he decided to break the intention. Okay? 
يعني really in reality he 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 makes the intention to break his fast. أو تردد or hesitates to do it. Okay, or hesitates to do it. بطل invalid. The fast will become invalid. وَإِنْ رَجَعَ إِلَى نِيَّةِ الصَّوْمِ عَلَى الْأَحْوَطِ لُزُومًا Even if you quickly, no, 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 so, 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 let me go back. Ya Allah, I'm continuing my fast. Finish. Finish. You are aware. You are alert. You did it intentionally. Finish. So now, at the, on the basis of obligatory precaution, you have to complete your fast and do a qadha makeup. So this is, if somebody intends to break the intention, like you want to uh, say, I will, I'm going to drink, I'm going to eat, I'm going to do all these kind of things. Okay. So now he did not say, I'm going to drink now. He said, after one hour, I'm going to drink. Finish. But after, I said, after one hour, finish. <laughs> you, you made your intention to break it later on. So whether you make your intention to break now, you break your intention now or you 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 make your you plan to break later on you have made your intention to break your fast whether now i'm going to drink i'm going to drink after one hour so that is done or he hesitated in it uh, you know after one hour i may break my fast no i may not i may i may not finish it's done uh, so أو نوى وكذا إذا وكذا إذا نوى القطع فيما يأتي أو تردد فيه أو نوى المفطر or no made the intention to have the invalidator I'm going to drink so that was I'm going to break my fast here I'm going to drink I'm going to smoke I'm going to do this that any of the invalidators so the same rule applies أو أو نوى المفطر مع العلم بمفطرته he made the intention to have an invalidator with the knowledge that it is an invalidator. But let's say if somebody does not know something is an uh, invalidator, then there are some detailed rules we are going to come. Okay, so you don't know. You're doubting now. Did I really break my fast or not? We'll say, no, 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 no. I don't know, is my fast valid or not? There is a hesitation. This is this will not break. What will break is where break your intention. You're not breaking your intention. You're questioning, is my fast valid or not? If he doubts, if he hesitates in the doubt of uh, the validity of his fast, it will not affect its validity. This is on a the, these rules which we mentioned all about this uh, uh, breaking the intention, um, b b hesitating in the intention, uh, b planning to break the intention, planning to he hesitate in uh, hesitating in planning to break the intention, or uh, planning to have an invalidator breaks the intention you you have to do qada on the basis of obligatory precaution he says all these rules are specific for what for the time specified obligation like holy month of ramadan and the nether where the, the vow which is specified what about the non specified fasting like mustahabbat like qada like kafara like all these like non nether fasting so he said al wajib ghayr al muayyan as for the fast which is not time specified day specified fala yaqdahu shay min dhalika none of all these we mentioned uh, in the previous slide which breaks the fast which invalidates which you need to do complete the day and uh, do the qada on the basis of obligatory precaution uh, nothing will nothing will affect on that fast if the, so there's a wajib remember the niyat time it was vohor time so as long as before vohor he wants to hesitate we'll say hesitate as much as you want but after vohor do not hesitate okay فَلَا يَقْدَحُ شَيْءٌ مِنْ ذَلِكَ فِيهِ إِذَا رَجَعَ إِلَى نِيَّتِهِ قَبْلَ الزَّوَالِ nothing affects 
as long as he comes back to his intention before the Vahur. Okay? The, the, because the time of all the wajib fast is Vahur. Specific wajib like holy month of Ramadan and specific vow, it is Fajr. So that is the difference between the two masalas. So all these hesitations, will, it will not affect as long as it is before the whole. Last ruling, how about switching? So switching the fast from one fast to another fast. He says you cannot switch. Now this is, this is a bit, I want you to focus here. It's a bit like two, like, like intertwined masala. I want you to understand that there are fast, they require specific intentions. And there are fast, they do not require specific intention. There are fast, they, uh, they depend on others. Like for example, recommended fast. You cannot fast recommended fasting unless if you have done your wajibat, obligatory fasts. If you have done, then you can. So recommend fast, recommended fast depends on the obligatory fast, okay? So therefore, the, the, to switch from one fast to another fast, just take a rule of thumb and we're going to explain. You can switch from any fast to recommended fast, okay? So if you switch from recommended fast to obligatory fast, the recommended fast will be correct not the switch to. If you switch from obligatory to recommended fast, the recommended fast will be correct, not the switch from. So switch from, switch to. Like converted from, converted to. In all, both cases, these two slides, what you are trying to tell you is, if it is a recommended fast, you want to switch to or switch from, then the other fast will be invalid. It will be only considered uh, the recommended fast will be considered valid. This is in, in a very brief and easy sentence I've mentioned. So now be prepared for the uh, intertwined sentences. And this is our last ruling. Ruling number 981. It is not permissible to switch from one fast to another fast. We're not talking with the holy month of Ramadan because holy month of Ramadan, la yaqafisha Ramadan, so maghira. Only holy month of Ramadan fast is valid in the holy month of Ramadan. So, وَإِنْ بَقِيَ وَقْتُ الْمَعْدُولِ إِلَيْهِ Even that time was remaining, you see? Like you, you intended to fast qawa before Dhuhr. Now there is a time remaining uh, for mustahab. Mustahab time is when? Maghrib. You cannot change because mustahab depends on not having qada. Remember this. Mustahab, you cannot switch to it. Okay, let's say you were fasted mustahab. And the, 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 the time was before Maghrib. So can you switch to qada? No, because the time of the qada is before Dhuhr. So the switching... Switching, وَإِنْ بَقِيَ وَقْتُ الْمَعْدُولِ إِلَيْهِ He's going to mention an example. Even the time of the switch to, converted to fast is remaining. Like mustahab fast, is time of Maghrib. More wider than the obligatory fast. So I want to change from kafara to mustahab. He says, no, you can't. Naam. Uh, so he says that, first of all, you cannot switch from fast to fast. Even if the time was remaining. So he says, it is not permissible to convert the in intention of a fast from one type to another type, even if the time of the intention for the second fast were remaining. So you want to switch from qada to kafara. Qada to kafara. So what will happen? Qada to kafara, we said no. But it is not yet the whole time. You can break your fast before the whole wajib qada uh, but you cannot switch to you already decided to do this qada so you cannot do kafara you already decided to do kafara you cannot do qada or nether so all these wajib fasts okay even the time is remaining the time of qada is zuhr no you cannot do the switching okay so wain baqiya waqtu al ilayhi yes there is a condition to to switch to recommended fast uh, so, so the recommended fast will be will be authentic. 
So however, if the intention of one of the two types of fast was not depending on its specific title, such as absolute recommended fast, which can be done any time and any day, regardless of its title, besides the two Eid. So recommended fast, you can do any time. So he says, Naam, إِذَا كَانَ أَحَدُهُمَا غَيْرْ مُتَقَوِّمْ بِقَصْدِ عَنْوَانِهِ It was not depending on its title. Because, you know, like, um, uh, Kafara, it has a title. Qadha has a title. Uh, they, have, they have some timing issues. But uh, recommended fasting is flexible, okay? So the, the, it, was, it was not depending on title. وَلَا مُقَيَّدًا وَلَا مُقَيَّدًا بِعَدَمِ قَصْدِ غَيْرَهِ And neither it was restricted by not intending other fast than itself. Like the absolute recommended, in which one can combine recommended fast, you can, you can fast so many fasts. I'm fasting uh, thank, to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm fasting the month of Rajab. I'm fasting the 13th of Rajab. I'm fasting because it's a Friday. So all these are combined. But in kafara, you cannot combine two kafaras. In qada, you cannot combine two qadas. It has to be one. So he says, وَلَا مُقَيَّدًا بِعَدَمِ قَصْدِ غَيْرَهِ So even that fast which you want to switch to should not be in a way that it is restricted that you cannot mention other than only one fast, one title. So like the, even though it was restricted by the absence of other fast before doing the recommended, like the absolute recommended fast is restricted by the absence of any obligatory fast, then such fast, absolute recommended, would be valid and other invalid, regardless of such being converted to or converted from. So in both cases, the absolute recommended fast which is combinable fast, which can be done anytime, which has no specific title, you can switch to or you can switch from, and it will be of a, if you switch to some, uh, if you switch from this to some other fast, other fast will be invalid, this will be okay, recommended. If you switch from the uh, other fast to recommended, recommended will be okay, other fast will not be okay. So he gives the examples. مثلا, لو نوى صوم الكفارة, let's say he made an intention to do كفارة, fasting. ثم عدل إلى المندوب, penalty fasting, then he switched, converted his intention to absolute recommended. صح الثاني, absolute recommended fast will be authentic. وبطل الأول, the first finish, because you change your intention. So there is no, it does not exist now. So كفارة is going to be invalid, and the second one, which is the recommended fast will be okay. Let's say opposite. Let's say he made the intention to fast the absolute recommended fast. After that, he switched to the penalty. So the first will be valid, recommended fast. The second will be uh, invalid. And this was for today. وآخر دعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا محمد وآله محمد الله Allahumma.